Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again with a quick review of the Celestron NexYZ universal smartphone adapter for your telescope, your binoculars, or even your microscope to capture the perfect image through that eyepiece by securely attaching your phone's camera right in front of the eyepiece so you've got perfect focus and you can capture the images you need. Now, before I get too deep into how the product works and all the features it provides, I'd like to start with an unboxing just to show you everything that's included with the kit, and that way you'll understand exactly what you get if you decide this product's right for you. And then I'll dive into the features because there are a lot of clamps out there that you can sort of attach a phone to your telescope or your binoculars, but honestly, they're mostly rubber and plastic, and even if they work the first time, over time they're going to get really shaky, they're not going to hold the phone well, and there's nothing more frustrating than trying to attach your phone to your telescope on a beautiful night with the perfect cleared air where you can get that shot of the moon and have your camera move around a little bit and you're fighting with focus all night. With this one, you're going to clamp your phone in the unit, put it on your telescope, and it's going to stay right where you left it. So let's get started with the unboxing, then I'll get into the features. So when you open up the box, you'll find the next YZ, which looks a little complicated, but honestly, once you understand how to use it, it's incredibly easy, and you'll set it up for your telescope the first time. It'll be a lot quicker the next time you try to use it, and I'll get into all that in a minute. You'll also find two adjustment collars that can be used with smaller eyepieces. Now, this will accommodate an eyepiece from about one and a quarter inches up to two inches, and these add a little bit of extra purchase. You can slide these over the eyepiece and then clamp it to this, and this will give you a little extra gripping around that eyepiece to make sure the camera doesn't move because when you've got a camera in front of an eyepiece that's being magnified, that camera has to be exactly where it needs to be to capture that image. And if it moves even a tiny bit to the side, you're going to miss the image, you're going to have focusing issues. So having these collars to really secure that to the eyepiece helps an awful lot. You'll also find a full instruction manual in the kit, and it's really important you read through that. I know it's a simple product to use, but there's a lot of good information in there about how to adjust this correctly. There's also information in there that you might miss on how to tighten this up if you need to later on, because over time things are going to move around a little bit, and there's instructions in there on how to tighten up the unit. All right, so let's talk about the unit itself. Essentially what you've got here is a phone clamp that attaches to an eyepiece. And that can be a telescope, can be binoculars, can be a lot of different things that have an eyepiece. And there's really two functions this provides. Clamping it to the eyepiece with this up top, and also clamping your phone in the bottom. And then more importantly, how do you adjust the phone to get it perfectly over the center of that eyepiece? And that's where this really shines. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do before you do anything else is add your phone to the unit. And that fits in right here. So you can see this expands out you slide your phone in, you clamp it in nice and tight. You're going to want the camera on your phone facing through the eyepiece right here. And this is wide enough to handle all the modern phones, even larger smartphones like this one. This is one of the latest Apple phones. And this is gigantic, and it fits in there really nice. So you'll basically slide it in like this. You'll pull this piece out to the edge and clamp it in. You'll want to make sure the phone is all the way down in the holder nice and tight. Now, that's not going anywhere. That phone's not moving at all. The unit itself is constructed of some type of composite. It's a really heavy duty composite. So it's not like it's gonna move around. You're not gonna break it if you drop it. So it's incredibly durable. Now, once you've got your phone clamped in there, the next thing you'll wanna do is clamp this over top of the eyepiece. And you can see that it expands really far and you can use the collars if you need to, but you'll put this over the eyepiece on your telescope, clamp it down, and then there's a, a knob right here that you'll wanna spin all the way down, the orange knob all the way down like that and nice and tight. And what that does is clamp it tight on that eyepiece. And you notice now I can't move it. So we've got the phone perfectly attached to the eyepiece. Now the only thing you have to worry about at this point is the adjustment of the phone up and down, left and right, and in and out for focus. And that's where this unit really shines because it's a three axis adjustment. You've got two knobs right here that move the phone up and down and left and right. And you've got one knob here that moves the phone in and out. So the first two you're going to adjust are these. And if you watch the phone closely, when I move this one, see how the phone's moving up and down? So you put it on the telescope, turn the camera on, and start making your adjustments. When you find the perfect spot for it to be up and down, where it's looking right through the lens, then you can move it left and right. And that's what this one does. The inner one moves it left and right. So if you find that perfect spot there, now they're perfectly adjusted. The only thing you have to worry about is focus, and that's done through this one. And that'll move the camera in and out. See how it's moving the holder? So that gives you the perfect focus. And once you're done, that's it. You just leave it alone, and you can take the pictures you want to. Now, one thing I'd recommend is Celestron offers this as just the holder with the adapters, or the holders, the adapters, and a Bluetooth trigger for your phone. 
And that's really nice addition because even though you can tap the screen, remember if you tap the screen and the phone moves slightly, you're gonna lose focus. So I always recommend going with the kit that's got the Bluetooth adapter. And that way the phone stays on your telescope. You can tap that Bluetooth adapter and take the pictures without ever getting near your telescope. Now I've tried a couple of different adapters already for the phone. A couple were less expensive. They were made out of plastic. They looked like they would work great. And honestly, the first time I went out to use them with the telescope, they worked okay. But towards the end of the night, they started sagging a little bit. And I found myself constantly adjusting the focus and the position of the phone. And it turned into a really frustrating affair. With this one, I've used it on four or five nights already. It's not moving an inch. I mean, or even a millimeter or even a micron. It's, it's absolutely staying exactly where I put it. And that's such a benefit because when they're out there and you've got a beautiful evening with clear skies and the perfect alignment of the stars, and you really want to capture that picture of the rings of Jupiter or the rings of Saturn, or you want to get a shot of the moon, you don't want to be fiddling around with stuff because if the holder isn't working, it's going to ruin the evening and you're out there with the kids and the family trying to enjoy the night and the holder's just not doing the job. So I like this one an awful lot. And again, it looks complicated, but I promise you there are three knobs for adjustments for the three axes that you can make adjustments to. Once you make those adjustments, it's clamped on your telescope and all you're doing is enjoying the night and you're looking at planets, you're looking at star clusters, all the things you want to do out there in the field. You'll even forget you're using it because it's just that simple. So that's pretty much all I had for today. I hope you found this review helpful. I think this is a wonderful product, and I've used it for quite some time, and I like it a lot, and I think you're going to like it a lot as well. So thanks an awful lot for watching, and until next time, as always, stay nerdy.